ऑनरेबल राष्ट्रपति जी श्री प्रणाब मुखर्जी थैंक यू सर फॉर ऑनरिंग आर ब्रेव अवॉर्डीज फॉर आस वंस अगेन इट्स अ ग्रेट ऑनर फॉर बोथ द काउंसिल एंड आर ब्रेव हार्ट्स टू बी इन योर अगस्त प्रेजेंस सर दीज ट्रायल्स ऑफ ब्रेवरी ऑफ आर चिल्ड्रेन ओरिजिनेट फ्रॉम वेरियस स्टेट्स इन इंडिया एंड कलमिनेट इन डेली एट द टाइम ऑफ द रिपब्लिक डे every year alongside with those who have fought for our country these brave children of our motherland have given the indian council for child welfare the opportunity to celebrate this joyous occasion so today the indian council for child welfare is celebrating the bravery of 25 more children who have responded once again without fear to adversity and danger and these are the children we are presenting to you today these 25 children come from 19 diverse states of india and each act of theirs personifies courage and belief that have changed lives i am sure other children also will be greatly inspired by these valorous acts that shows what it is to be brave and courageous even in the most difficult of circumstances My beloved children I like to say something to you many people are faced with the choice to act but they choose not to act so the reflex is not in all of us but in some of you like you brave children here with us you perform instinctively to save those in peril you all acted on that instinct you had the choice to stop to give up to look the other way yet you acted striving in every way physically possible to save the life of another person on the brink of death we have here children reentering a burning uh, a building or swimming back again and again to rescue someone in danger you had the time to think to consider the personal risk to turn away and stop but yet you didn't none of you did it is this formidable determination and the will flowing through every act of bravery that we honor today what i'd like to just reflect on a moment is what the citations don't record and that is the life life long impact on bravery is something that has struck me over many years I, as i have been meeting you children who have risked your lives we can understand the deep emotional stress the physical pain the injury and the psychic legacy which are etched deeply into the lives of the rescuer and the rescued how can life ever be normal again after such events what is normal what is normal for somebody who has rescued someone from death what is normal for the person who is rescued for their families those of us who are not involved in these acts can only try to imagine today children we salute you you have saved others risked everything including your lives four of them have lost their lives and all of them are girls we remember them and our hearts go out to their parents so iccw provides much financial support for their education shri ms dalmian associates provides assistance to all the brave children enabling them to get very high quality education iccw from other sponsors also provide financial aid to these children to pursue their professional degrees many of our bodies have reached pinnacles of success as doctors engineers scientists lawyers chartered accountants space scientists service personnel just goes to show so with a little bit of encouragement and financial support most of our children who come from disadvantaged backgrounds have made it to top positions iccw is one of the largest organizations that is very much at the forefront of child welfare in our country a band of our dedicated volunteers who give so much of their time to serve our very vulnerable children in all our state and union territories of india we can so achieve our targets for our children's rights in a mission mode 
development of policy, delivery of services, and the place of children in society and our responsibilities to them. Our government's abiding commitment to the cause of the children is a value statement that children and their welfare are placed at the heart of the government's programs. Childhood is a precious time in life, a time for laughter, love, enjoyment, trust, and growth. Today, we can all cast a web of protection and care around our underprivileged children because that's what every generation of such children need. A stronger civil society partnership with the government can break the cycle of disadvantage and fast forward the fruition of this vision and achieve our national targets and goals, enabling our children to build our tomorrow, the India of our dreams. Jai Hind. Bharat Abort, Tar Piju from Arunachal Pradesh, posthumous. Nineteenth May 2016, eight years old Tar Piju saw two young children being swept away by a strong current of a river. Displaying raw courage, she jumped into the river and dragged both the children to safety. However, the gallant Piju got submerged into the water and was swept downstream by the strong current. For her supreme sacrifice and indomitable courage, Tar Piju is being conferred with the most coveted Bharat Award. Her parents, Sri Tar Kaza and Srimati Tar Yaku. <laughs> Geeta Chopra Award, Ms. Tejaswita Pradhan and Ms. Shivani Gond. Tejaswita and Shivani, two fearless members of Students Against Trafficking Club in West Bengal. The two brave girls displayed conspicuous courage and remarkable initiative in helping the police and an NGO to uncover an international sex racket. Their relentless efforts also led to the arrest of its mastermind in Delhi. Conferred with the prestigious Geeta Chopra Award, Tejaswita Pradhan and Shivani Gond. <laughs> Sanjay Chopra Award, Sumit Mamgen from Uttarakhand. 8th November 2015, 15 years old Sumit and his cousin were going to a nearby field to graze the cattle. Suddenly a leopard attacked his cousin, displaying exceptional bravery and putting his own life to grave danger. Sumit relentlessly fought with the wild animal and saved his cousin. For this outstanding bravery, he will be the proud recipient of Sanjay Chopra Award 2016. Sumit Mamgen. <laughs> Next award, ladies and gentlemen, is Bapu Gaidhani Award. The first Bapu Gaidhani Award 2016 has been posthumously conferred on late Ms. Rolu Apui from Mizoram. 3rd March 2016, 13 years old Rolu Apui saw two of her schoolmates drowning in a river. Unmindful of her own safety, she jumped into the river, rescued both of her friends. However, she got trapped in a strong stream and made the supreme sacrifice of her life. Rolu Apui's father, Sri Lalda Malyana. Master Tushar Verma from Chhattisgarh is the next Bapu Gaidhani Award winner. On 28th September 2015, at around 9 p.m., a temporary cattle shed in his neighborhood caught fire. The intense flames had engulfed the entire place. Tushar displayed undaunting courage and selflessness to extinguish the fire and rescue the cattle in spite of having severe burn injuries. For his gallant act, he has been selected for Bapu Gaidhani Award, Tushar Verma. 
H. Lal Riyad Pui of Mizoram will be posthumously awarded the Bapu Gaithani Award. 18th March 2016, Lal Pui's two-year-old cousin was sitting in a car alone. Suddenly, the car started moving downward on a very steep road with the young child still inside. Lal Pui made valiant attempt to stop the car but failed. She rushed towards the door to open the car and was run over by the car. For her supreme sacrifice, Lal Pui is being awarded Bapu Gayadhani Award. Her father, Sri H. Ramdin Mavia, and mother, Srimati H. C. Lalupui. Next Bravery Award winner is eight years old Miss Neelam Dhruv from Chhattisgarh. On 19th May 2016, Neelam Dhruv and her four years old friend Tikeshwari Dhruv were bathing in a pond. Suddenly, Tikeshwari slipped and fell into the pond. With utter disregard to her own safety, the young Neelam immediately jumped into the pond and saved her friend. For her exemplary valor, she is being awarded Bravery Award 2016, Miss Neelam Dhruv. The next awardee is Sonu Mali from Rajasthan. 21st September 2015, a four feet long ferocious black cobra snake entered a government school in Rajasthan and attacked a young student. Undeterred by grave danger to his own safety, nine years old Sonu Mali picked up the student with a lightning speed and saved his life. For his daring act, he is being awarded Bravery Award 2016 Sonu Mali. <clears throat> Mohan Sethi from Odisha. 28th June 2015. 11 years old Mohan Sethi and his friend were bathing in a river. Suddenly, his friend lost balance and started drowning. With utter disregard to his own life, Mohan jumped into the river and with extreme difficulty dragged his friend out of the river. His gallant act saved a precious human life, Mohan Sethi. <clears throat> Sia Vamnasa Khode from Karnataka, April 14th, 2015. 11 years old Sia was playing with her younger brother and other friends at the rooftop. Suddenly, her brother came in contact with a live electric wire. Showing immaculate presence of mind, she held his shirt without touching his body and fiercely pulled him away. Her fearless and swift actions saved her brother from electrocution. The gallant Sia Vamanasa Khode. Thangil Mang Lankim from Nagaland. 11 years old, Thangil Mang Lankim was returning from school on 15 September 2015. He suddenly heard the screams of a child drowning in a nearby river. Without wasting any time, Thangil Mang rushed to the spot and jumped into the river. After tirelessly swimming for nearly 120 meters, he got hold of the boy and pulled him to safety. His selfless, swift action saved an invaluable life. Thangil Mang Lankim. <clears throat> Praful Sharma from Himachal Pradesh, 13 December 2015. While returning from an educational tour from Dharamshala, their school team had a halt en route. As most of the students were sitting in the school bus, a child inadvertently disturbed the gear and brakes, and the bus started moving down the hill. Praful Sharma promptly applied the brakes and stopped the bus, averting a major accident. Praful Sharma. <clears throat> T 
Tankeshwar Pegu from Assam. On 20th June 2016, Tankeshwar and his sister-in-law were crossing a lake in a boat. Due to torrential rains, the lake was flowing above the danger mark. Suddenly, the boat, the boat capsized and both of them fell into the lake. Displaying immense courage, Tankeshwar saved the drowning lady and rescued her to the bank, nearly 120 meters away. His gallant act saved a life, Tankeshwar Pegu. Moirangtham Sadanan Singh from Manipur. 6 May 2016, it was raining incessantly. Suddenly, an electric socket got short-circuited and exploded in the kitchen. As his mother tried to unplug the socket, she came in contact with a live electric wire. In a prompt and brave action, Moirangtham brought a wooden rod and gave a strong blow, saving his mother from the grip of the current. Moirangtham Sadananda Singh. Aditya Nempi Pillai from Kerala. On 19th May 2016, three children were bathing in a river. One of them slip, slipped into the deep side and started drowning. The other two jumped into the river to save him, but both entered the danger zone and started sinking. Displaying raw courage, 14-year-old Adityan jumped into the river, skillfully rescued all three of them. Adityan MP Pillai. <laughs> Ms. Anshika Pandey from Uttar Pradesh. On 14th September 2015, as Anshika was going to her school on a bicycle, some miscreants tried to drag her inside an SUV car. She valiantly put her foot against the car door and did not allow them to close the car. As the miscreant tried to throw some liquid, probably acid, into her eyes, she fiercely bit his hand. Confounded and confused, the offender attacked her face with a knife. In a tough resistance, her right hand got injured. Her daredevil act made the offenders flee from the place. Anshika. Pandey. <laughs> Vinil Manjali from Kerala, midnight of 17 April 2016. Vinil and his family were returning home. A small boy stopped them and appealed to save his family members fallen into Periyar Canal. Vinil instantly jumped into the deep canal and rescued one senior lady. Displaying extreme compassion, he again jumped into the water to search for other two members, but could not find them. For his outstanding courage and compassion, selected for Bravery Award, Vinil Manjali. <laughs> Ms. Akshita Sharma and her younger brother, Akshit Sharma from Delhi. 8 December 2015. When they returned home from school, they found something suspicious as the iron gate of the house was open. Akshita tried to peep through the ventilator and saw two thieves inside the house. Displaying rare audacity, they caught hold of one thief, whereas the other ran away from the site. Ms. Akshita Sharma and Master Akshit Sharma. <laughs> Akhil K. Shibu from Kerala. 23rd December 2015, Akhil was playing football near Pampa River in Kerala. He suddenly heard screaming of a person drowning in the river. With utter disregard to his own safety, Akhil jumped into the river and held his hand. The man, in a panic state, grabbed Akhil and they both started drowning. Undeterred by the odds, Akhil changed his strategy and skillfully rescued him to safety. Akhil K. Shibu.
Naman from Delhi is the next winner. During summer holidays in 2015, Naman had gone to his uncle's place in Haryana. On 2nd July, as he was bathing in Yamuna Canal, he saw a child drowning. Naman immediately jumped and caught hold of the child, though he was extremely exhausted. He remained unnerved and cautiously carried the child to safety. 16-year-old Naman from Delhi. Ms. Nisha Dilip Patil from Maharashtra. 14th January 2016, Nisha's neighbor had gone to drop her son to school, leaving a six-month-old baby alone at home. Suddenly, Nisha noticed heavy smoke gushing out from the house. She immediately rushed there. The rapidly spreading fire had almost reached the baby. With the lightning speed, she picked up the child and jumped out of the burning house, saving a precious life. Ms. Nisha Dilip Patil. Ms. Badrunisa KP from Kerala, 4th May 2015. Badrunisa saw a 15 year old girl and her mother drowning in a pond. Putting her own life at risk, she jumped into the pond and valiantly saved both of them. For exemplary courage and compassion, awarded Bravery Award 2016, Badrunisa KP. Twelve years old, Miss Pyle from Jammu and Kashmir is posthumously conferred with Bravery Award 2016. On 12 May 2016, in Ramban district of Jammu and Kashmir, two of Pyle's friends were trapped in an intense flash flood due to a heavy cloud burst. Unmindful her, of her own safety, she jumped into the flash floods to save the friends. Eventually, all three were washed away. For her supreme sacrifice, Pyle will be posthumously honored with Bravery Award 2016. Her father, Sri Rajkumar. 